Hello and welcome to another video by Sot Brain Hub. In this one, we're doing a rapid review of the arterial circle of the brain. We can see an inferior view of the brain being drawn here. So the blood supply comes from the vertebral arteries, which is the posterior supply, and the anterior supply, which is via the internal carotid arteries. And they join to make the arterial circle, which is a compensation mechanism to make sure that blood can get around the brain should there be a blockage. It sometimes works, sometimes it's not so good, and that's because the brain needs such a high demand of oxygen and nutrients. So here we can label the internal carotid artery. This has been cut here and we can see a number of vessels coming from there. We'll start with the anterior cerebral artery. This runs on the medial aspect of the cerebrum. And the next one is going to be the middle cerebral artery. This is the largest of the three cerebral vessels and with the largest territory. Now we've got the posterior cerebral artery going to the posterior part of the brain, particularly the occipital lobe. And we can show the basilla artery here, which is of course uh, the joining of the two vertebral arteries coming from the subclavian. We can see the vertebral artery coming on now. So the two vertebral arteries form the basilla on the front of the pons. Now we need to complete our, our arterial circle and we can do that by drawing on the anterior communicating artery. That's a connection between the two anterior cerebral vessels. Connecting the internal carotid with the posterior cerebral artery is the posterior communicating artery and this completes the circle of Willis as it's known. Let's complete this picture though by drawing on some of the other vessels. The pontine arteries supply the pons and they come from the bacilla as small branches. And we can then draw on some of the other branches. This one fairly close to the arterial circle is a larger branch which goes to the cerebellum. And this is the superior cerebellar artery. This one is uh, not particularly well remembered by many and it's not super important but uh, it's important to include it. This is the labyrinthine artery going into the middle ear and if we journey down towards the vertebral arteries there's a, a branch that comes off uh, inferior to that labyrinthine artery which is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. So that just leaves us really to label um, this one which is the posterior inferior cerebellar artery the pica uh, often as it's called and then the last one here is the anterior spinal artery forming off of the vertebral artery and uh, running down the anterior part of the spinal cord so that's a quick recap of the arterial circle see you again soon Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.